Well, new at 11, a groom-to-be killed in a hit-and-run crash. Tonight, Park Police are asking for your help to find the driver. The couple was hit on the Baltimore-Washington Parkway near Laurel on Sunday night. They pulled over to change a tire when this happened. Tom Rousey spoke with the victim's family members tonight. Tom? And Allison, this happened a little north of the interchange with 197 behind me here on the parkway tonight. Park police are putting out a call for any witnesses there might be. And the family of the victim has a message for whoever did this. He just was a happy-go-lucky person, and I would give anything to have him back. One night after losing her son, Charmaine Farrell Anthony says she forgives the hit-and-run driver who killed him. But the person needs to turn themselves in. Truly, if you have a child or any children, how would you feel if someone just ran over your child, killed your child, and just kept going? U.S. Park Police say 9:15 Sunday night, Rick Warwick was changing a tire on his Hyundai on the BW Parkway's shoulder. Warwick's mother says two of his teenage children were in the car, and fiance Julia Pierce was out holding a flashlight for Warwick when a car hit the couple. Warwick was killed, and Pierce was taken to Baltimore shock trauma with non-life-threatening injuries. Why didn't you stop trying to help them? A call for help. Pierce's grandmother hosted the couple for Christmas dinner. She says the 28-year-old Julia's leg is badly injured and the family hasn't yet told her her fiance died. She gonna take it hard. That's why I suggest them not to tell her about him right now. It would just be too much for her. Pharrell Anthony says her son had been heading to Dave and Buster's at Arundel Mills Mall. She says he loved his job as a car salesman and was looking forward to getting married. He loved life. He loved his family. He loved his kids. Rick Warwick's mother says, sadly, he is not the first son that she's lost. She had another son that she lost to gun violence more than 10 years ago, and they were the only two children that she ever had. Reporting live tonight in Laurel, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News.